What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Standard American Outdoors YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how I built my turbo pickup out of this container, not only rebuilding it, not only uh, building it for boost and all the parts and stuff like that, but specifically how to tune the stock computer, the 22RE computer for boost. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So here she is. Here is the hashtag, the red sled, in all of her lipstick red glory. Nice little headlight upgrade. They are nice. Bright as all hell. But I have a question for you guys, and I've been debating this personally. What do you guys think about the factory stripe? It's, it's in okay condition. Um, I can't decide whether or not to take it off or leave it on. Go down in the comments and let me know your opinion and we'll go from there. All right, so let's get in to the nitty gritty, the meat and potatoes. So here is the old girl in all of her glory. So what I did to, to boost it, of course, was the manifold the turbo and the turbo is actually an external wastegate turbo so i put an external wastegate on there it's nothing fancy this one's actually from ebay yes i said it ebay <laughs> i think i paid 40 or 50 bucks for it it has a four psi spring which what's all you know you really want to run when you're starting out you want your turbo your manifold course your your downpipe and and all that so you need your turbo your manifold and your adjustable rising rate fuel pressure regulator very important these are the stock injectors for now i believe they're 200 cc if correct me if i'm wrong and with this turbo you don't necessarily need a blow off valve or a bypass or a relief valve because this is actually uh, has an anti-surge housing. It makes all the, all the nice choo-choos. So that's about it under the hood. Now here's what's really important. You absolutely need a boost gauge and you need a wide band these you kind of want to splurge on them a little bit these are AEMs I got these off Amazon they're about 340 bucks and you absolutely need those you know those come with a an actual O2 sensor you weld in the exhaust and it tells you your air fuel ratios and all that good stuff So that's what you need to, of course, make your little turbo pickup. And if you have a, an external wastegate with a four PSI spring, that's what it is. That's what it's gonna make. It's no more, no less. Now, I went for, I don't recommend this on a stock motor, which that's what this is. But of course, you know, I never follow my own, uh, my own logic most of the time. So I got, went and got a Turbo Smart, the screw type boost controller, which I actually turned it up till about eight, nine pounds, and it does excellent. So how to tune it? How to tune it? So all you need are your manifold, your turbo, your external wastegate, if you have an external wastegate turbo, a rising rate fuel pressure regulator, your boost gauge and sensor and your a your your uh, your wideband kit you, those are the the four things or the five things you actually you honestly need don't don't skimp on any of those so everybody knows if they've had a toyota and they have opened the hood this your math sensor or afm whatever you want to call it if you open this cover up there's a little uh, cog gear a little sprocket that actually can rich in 
that can richen uh, up the motor or lean it out. I think um, counterclockwise is to rich, to enrichen, and clockwise is to lean out, to take fuel away. And I think on this one, I updid seven, seven teeth or eight teeth. I'll have to go back and look. So, and it runs pretty dang good at that with stock 200 cc injectors and the fuel pressure regulator i think i have it set at 80 at 85 psi and it's a rising rate so it has a vacuum line going to the manifold so whenever the pre the vacuum in here increases the fuel pressure increases so it'll follow the boost so just those two things will get you by and allow you to to boost your stock 22 re with the stock computer but always you know this motor is different than any other motor so always watch that afr gauge this one sits about uh under boost about 13.0 to 13.5 and that's all the way up sometimes it hits 14.0 when when i'm in boost you know nine even i think sometimes it skips to 10 pounds but it the afrs are still good and I have everything else to uh, rebuild this motor. Um, better than it was, let's just say that. If you wanna see me cam this thing, valve spring this thing, H-beam rods, and forge pistons, go down, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll be getting that video out as soon as I do something stupid and blow this one up. Let's go for a drive and I'll show you I'll show you what happens. And honestly, this how it goes is now this is my theory on I know the the result. I don't know why, but I do know the end result. When the truck sees it get really lean, it tells the the injectors to go into a hundred percent duty cycle mode. So it'll just go 100% fuel it'll kick it up and so if you stay on throttle a little bit the computer the O2 sensors will read it's getting lean and tell the computer hey kick all the fuel and my AFR gauge will actually I'll literally see green and everybody knows green means go so that's actually how that's what I think actually happens like I said that's my theory if I'm wrong uh, go down in the comments and let me know. I believe the technical term is it, the O2 sensors go into full closed loop, which means, my apologies, it's loud. <laughs> it goes into full closed loop, which is in electronics language, it transfers 12 volts or the maximum amount of voltage and it tells the computer that hey maximum voltage maximum fuel send it now and that's when i get the green light and that's when i can actually roll on the throttle into eight nine pounds of boost so let's go for a drive i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that right now Now that I've explained it to you and you've actually seen what it looks like uh, for me driving around, you can kind of get a, a better idea about it. So um, I hope that this video kind of sheds some light on, kind of makes you a little bit more comfortable on if you have an idea like, hey, I want to go turbo my car, turbo my truck, whatever. This only applies to 95 or 88 to 95 Toyotas with the MAF sensor 22RE 3VZ and possibly even older if it's electronic, but don't quote me on that, uh, mainly because I haven't done it yet. And also, I'm running the factory timing is five degrees. I'm running eight. You wanna run a minimum of 91 octane. So the spark plugs are the W16EXRU and I gap those at 31, and those are the factory plugs, and those that's the factory gap. 
So I run eight degrees of timing, 91 octane, um, nine pounds of boost at max, and factory spark plugs, factory wires, factory uh, Denso cap and rotor, and it just, it runs, it runs dang good. It really does. Yeah, that's, that's about it. So if you got any value out of this video, go down, hit like, subscribe for more. I'm gonna be building this one soon, I'm sure of it. I have more parts for my Forerunner, for the mule over there, the V8's going in it. Um, rebuild, completely rebuilding the 3VZ and my wife's Forerunner, and gosh, and taking care of a, a three month old or a four month old and working a full time job. So bear with me. Hey, my buddy, he goes, man, he goes, you're, you're kind of a busy guy. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> but I wouldn't have it any other way. So go down, hit that like button, subscribe. And if you have any more questions or anything like that, drop them down in the comments and I'll be sure to get back to you. And if you want to make, if you want me to make uh, a video on a particular topic or a particular anything uh, regarding these old Toyotas, uh, let me know and I'll do my best. All right. Appreciate it.